the Russian Revolution of 1917 ushered in communism. This was to eventually give rise to arguably the greatest era of Russian dominance in the form of the Soviet Union after World War II. Following World War I and the Treaty of Versailles, a vengeful Germany rearmed and re-emerged for the most disastrous war mankind had ever seen, World War II. Under the rule of the Nazi regime, Germans envisaged a thousand-year Reich, the resumption of a grand civilization that would rule the world. This extremely nationalist, race-centered ideology led to murder and oppression of countless people. Hitler stunned the world, initially defeating one nation after another on his way to near total capture of Europe. Eventually, he was stopped by the alliance of Russia, France, Britain and a new power that had arrived on the scene, the United States of America. World War II showed humanity why technological progress is not the measure of a civilization's success. In a war driven by new technology and bombs, the masses were put to slaughter in the most disastrous battles in human history. The Battle of Berlin. The Battle of Stalingrad. The Siege of Leningrad. The Siege of Budapest. America used the nuclear bomb on Japan twice. By this action, where one titanic war had finished, another started. The Russian communist, who installed puppet governments in Eastern Europe and Asia, built an extensive empire known as the USSR. Led initially by the brutal dictator Stalin, the Russians confronted the capitalist West, which was now led by America, in the Cold War, a war of technology and politics. For decades, people lived under fear of a nuclear Armageddon, fearing a war which would have wiped out humanity itself. However, this war was not to come. Instead, the repression and corruption of the communist system led to a popular revolt that saw the downfall of this ideology. Beginning in Poland in 1989, popular revolutions swept through the communist nations, spreading to Hungary, East Germany, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia and Romania. Country after country declared its independence from the USSR and disavowed the communist doctrine. Communism was finished. The capitalist creed was adopted by one nation after another, and Europe was at last unified. Some commentators asserted that the spread of liberalism was the culmination and peak of humanity's social and cultural evolution. Capitalism today stands as the dominant civilization having found favour as a dominant economic theory. Within it, there are states with prominent national interests, such as America, China, Britain, Russia, India and France. As history has shown, however, economic and military interests are never enough to sustain a civilization. The critical factor has always been the central idea that underpins a civilization. There is no civilization that rose after it had been comprehensively defeated militarily and economically. Yet there is one idea today that continues to rise after the state that embodied it was defeated, Islam. Islam is an idea which is built upon the belief that only the creator of man has the right to ordain a way of life by which mankind can live. 
an idea that Muslims call Tawheed, the belief in the oneness of God. It is an idea that has driven people's desires for change and a return to the glory of Islam. The Arab Spring of 2011, initially seen by some as a demand for liberty, is a sign of the Islamic revival. World history has been a tale of civilization after civilization. Today, the leading civilization stands weakened by economic disasters and military defeats against opponents that were thought to be weak. But those who believe in the promise of Allah are not weak.